We got View of the Fifth Column. Let's talk about the Montgomery Docks. And with that being said, we're smoking all my dragons. Divine, righteous, almighty, great, overachieving, never slacking. And uh, yeah, them Alabama, that Alabama, blah, that Alabama bra is still a topic. So um, we're gonna we're gonna hop into this and see what this man has to say about this. You know, I seen a post today that said the suspects got a, you know arrested. Even though like so much headlines, you never know what's what. But let's get into this. Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Montgomery and the docks and what happened and a whole bunch of questions that came in and and a misunderstanding of what something means. Okay, so if you have no idea what I'm talking about, over the weekend there was a an altercation that occurred WWE melee at the docks there at the river in Montgomery um, there was a pontoon boat piloted by uh, looks like a group of white people and it had docked in a spot where a river boat is supposed to dock my understanding is that a dock worker who is black is telling them to move. This prompts an altercation. I have no idea what actually happened. No clue. Okay. But what is very visible is a whole bunch of white people beating on this black person. And then black people from everywhere started coming to his aid. This has prompted a whole lot of questions for everything from, you know, why did they all come to his aid? What about the person who, I guess, jumped off the boat? <laughs> who, from what I understand, is actually a teen, like a 16-year-old. Um, and I think the, uh, the one that is most interesting is that on social media, People were saying that, yeah, you can't mess around on those docks. And I got a question that said, you know, I don't get it. They said not on those docks, but, uh, I mean, I've been there. That seemed like a really nice area. It is. It is a nice area. I've never been there. Curious now about it. I'm sure we all are curious about it now. Um, the park nearby is actually really pretty and Incidentally, when that riverboat's there, it's very picturesque. Um, there's walking trails, like, through the town where you can pass all these historic buildings okay. to include, like, a warehouse and a pen and the old market and the depot for people. A market for buying and selling people. Warehouse and pens for people. Montgomery, Alabama was very central to the slave trade. Guess where they came into town? Cotton went out. Slaves came in. Black people are saying not on those docks. White people are hearing wrong neighborhood. That's not what they're saying. That's not what they mean. It is uh, unlikely that a group of white people are going to be able to beat a black person in that area in 2023 without eliciting a response. Oh. It is hollowed ground. There are markers everywhere explaining where you're at. See, I didn't even, I didn't even, like, I know about, obviously, you know, the news came out about the area, but I didn't know there was, like, like he just said, markers everywhere explaining where you're at. I didn't know that history was, like, in people's faces. I thought it was, like, more of it, more, more, more deeper research people did and then found that out. Like, I didn't know it was, like, everybody know type of thing, and it's, in, and it's all around. That's crazy. You know, once, probably every other year, Somebody goes on vacation to Europe and they go to a camp and they take a photo that is they're smiling too much or they're in a 
a silly pose, something that is not demonstrating the proper amount of reverence, and social media goes wild. Those docs, that, that action, a whole bunch of white people beating on a black guy, that's uh, not something that is going to be taken lightly. I would imagine that at least one of the people who got involved in that was actually walking the trail because it goes right by there. The pins, I want to say, are like a block and a half away. I like how he actually been there, so he's able to give us like a deeper um, awareness and understanding about you know the act the actual environment from being there. I think that's that's pretty awesome. Um, for a region of the country that likes to scream, you know, oh my heritage, my history. That's why we need to keep this flag. A whole lot of people don't seem to know it. That's the history. Mm. What happened in that area. Mm. The pens for people. Mm. The market for people. But you know, a whole lot of people are going to say, what if that was in, you know, comments I'm seeing, what if that was in reverse and, you know, this and that. I mean, it was in reverse. He's explaining... I mean, you know, I mean, that, that that was the reverse effect. You know, he's explaining the history, like, of what happened there. But it's like, at the end of the day, to be honest, you know, I just can't wait till we, till it, till, till humanity's evolved, hopefully to a point where we're not crayon colors no more. And it's not like a black and white, and we actually just evolved past that. But, um, you know, I just learned about something called the, the, what is it, the, the bacon, um, what was it the bake the bacon something where you know so so called black and white indentured servants and slaves you know they got together and they and they and they they rebelled together they fought together look that up it's called like the bacon wars or something so you know i would like to get back to that mentality of more so unity that would be cool but you know at the end of the day you know uh, i would think any good person natural response no matter what the race color whatever if they see somebody getting jumped I would think anybody would help, you know? That's what they mean by not on those docks. It makes a whole lot more sense now, right? Yes, it does. Um, now, I would imagine that that certainly had something to do with it. I also, from what I understand, a lot of the people who got involved were co-workers of the first person um, who, who got hit. The... Uh, there were a bunch of arrests made. Uh, from my understanding, at the time of filming, there are still four warrants out. But there are a lot of places in the South that are hollowed ground. They are places where horrible, horrible things happened. And in the South, everybody just kind of moved along and, and acted like it didn't happen and by it's crazy though because you know i'm learning i've learned that not just the south either like new york has some crazy history i mean not too long ago i looked up how there was literally bodies they found a whole bunch of bodies of like what was it like slaves that were taken to new york some i got maybe i'll post a post it on here but like there's so much that you know it's just so much like insane stuff that happened from the south into the no in the, the north you know as well all over it's it's insane i mean we got towns that are flooded we got towns that but then you got a lot of people who are i'm not personally me i'm not democratic republican conservative i'm not none of that right um but you know i see a lot of conservatives that are always say like oh that's just you know keep listening to you know the left and da -da -da -da, you know so you don't think that, like, because cause let's just say this was staged. Let's just say all this was staged, right? It's a possibility. I'm not going to sit here and say that's not a possibility, even though some PA, once again, other people are going to comment like, how dare you say that? Listen, we're talking about the media, right? I'm just, just putting this out there just in case someone with that mind says, okay, it's staged. You're listening to the, to the, to the left. Okay. So then when we see the reverse effect, um, that does happen, like maybe, um, what was it? Well, that child who was murdered. Um, ah, I forgot his name. But when we see the revert, you know, things happen to so-called white people. 
you ever think maybe that stage two then so that it could cause some type of bumping of the heads between so-called black and white it can't just always be one-sided to where every every time something happens to a so-called black person it's just bullcrap and staged and leftist that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying like even the stuff you don't hear about maybe it what if it gets pushed to the masses more so amongst a certain community where it's like, hey, they don't we don't hear about this. Hey, why don't they talking about this? So that I could get that kind of, I guess, Ryan Upchurch broke this down the best where he talked about this canceled effect, which when you kind of cancel something or something feel like it's not getting recognition or purposely getting, you know, um blackballed, it, it gets it, it gets out there even more. You get what I'm saying, guys? So all I'm saying is are we in a chess game? Don't get mad at me. I'm just putting things out there and just basically saying, are we in a chess game? You know, is it all, are we being played with? Everybody, what I really mean is the governments that were controlled by white people. They, they, didn't, they didn't set it aside. They didn't put in a new dock. They, they, didn't, they didn't memorialize it the way the way things have happened in a lot of other places. Of course they didn't. So you can really just hang out and have a few drinks on a place at a location that a whole lot of... Of course we didn't. We're not going to know about any of the uh, the real, you know, stuff like that, you know. Um, I mean, majority of the history, like I said, we're lied to about. We're really not going to know about... Mu you know, yeah, we might know about it, but it's not going to be like... Like you said, memorialized too much or just, I don't know, like I, like nobody knew about this till now, you know? So I'm just throwing out different perspectives of what it could be. Maybe it is the spirits. Maybe it is the spirits, you know, that just said, hey, we're making a statement today. Y'all going to remember what happened here today. It could be that too. A lot of horrible things happened. Um, so that's... When they're saying that, that's what they mean. It's not a bad area. It's not a rough area. They're not saying wrong neighborhood or anything like that. They're saying it's 2023. Not I feel like anybody pushing that, like they're saying wrong neighborhood, is someone who's trying to spark a race war. Like, if you, you know, it's people who are even going to take what I'm saying and just take little pieces of it and say, like, and just run with that. Like, what do you, what, what can you do? You know, you got people over there out here who just got bad intentions. God, 1850. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day. Shout out to, uh, you know, Bur B Buell of the fifth column. You know, he broke that down. He broke that down. He definitely did, he did his thing. Um, how I personally feel on it. I personally feel like, you know, basically what I said, you know, it, it could definitely be something, you know, spiritual where it was like, for what, that history, we celebrate everything else. You know, we always focus, you know, 4th of July, this, that, all this, Christmas, all this. Maybe, you know, with something in a, in, in a spiritual realm said, hey, the world's going to remember what happened here today, you know? And maybe there was a, a, inf a, a unknown influence that we can't see. But it also could be, you know, so it's like it's just so much going on. All I can say is just protect your, your mind. Um... I usually don't really pay too much attention to media like that. Every now and then I'll pick up something and speak about it like this, but I really don't pay attention too much like that. You know, I got to protect your mind, guys. Like I said, there's people who are going to pick up what I'm saying, pick up what he's saying, pieces of it, and just run with whatever agenda they want to run with. You know, and, oh, uh, you know, there's people that's probably going to unsubscribe from me right now. That Just because of my opinion. It's just what it is. You know, just what it is. With that being said, I'll see y'all soon. Um, original link in the description. Definitely go subscribe to that man's channel. He has some great content. And uh, I'll see you soon. Much love. If you want more videos like this, make sure you hit that like, that subscribe, and that notification bell. Be safe, y'all.